while we still have weight on the wheel before we jack this thing up, we're gonna put down this back seat so that we can get to the top part of that back strut and undo the bolts. Uh, lower the seat attachment here that you can pull on this little lever and that'll bring that up and that's gonna give us access to this port. So we may be able to just pull that off, yeah, without having to grab a tool. If that's too hard, you could take something that's plastic that's strong enough for you to wedge in there, but nothing metal because you don't wanna bust that up. Breaker bar or a small cheater bar in here to break those loose. All right, so that one's done, yeah. And these are 14. Ratchet those loose, then you can go ahead, take them out. I'm gonna put these over here on that cover. Break those lug nuts loose. It's on that notch for the jack so it doesn't go through the body. Since those are broken loose, and then we can get that back tire off. This is a 17, and I was able to get to it with a breaker bar. You may need a short extension. Now, I've already broken it loose, but you want to use that breaker bar. And I just need to take some pressure off so that I can get that bolt out that we've been loosening, because right now it's under a lot of pressure. So I've already loosened these two bolts. What I wanna do is take this off to help alleviate some of that pressure. So I'm gonna take these two off and then I will remove the jacks or lower the jacks that are underneath to lower that to see if I can't get some of that pressure yes. off. Do these equally. Just there's that one. still under a lot of pressure from that spring but that helped so I just took this wrench and I'm prying it up against the bolt as I use my socket and I'm wedging it up in against that extension off. There we go. All right, now we're out. all right so there I got that bed boy out it's like it's 12 millimeter bolt here. This is mounting the um, emergency brake just for the mount of it, just to give me a little bit more room when moving this around. we got those two bolts in the top that we started with. Get up here with the crowbar. Just going to pop that down. thread them all the way down. I just want to put those in place. So it'll still give me some wiggle room, but I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about that coming out of there while I'm wiggling around. So what I did was those two bolts that I unbolted I wedged in two two befores, took a crowbar to kind of get some leverage. Then I'll show you the other end of it. That allowed me to get the hole lined up with the shock. I was trying to press the shock up. I wasn't getting anywhere close. So I moved the assembly around the shock. Put a screwdriver in this end and kind of moved the shock around enough to where I could kind of wedge the bolt in. So I'm gonna wiggle the crowbar at the same time I try to jiggle this bolt in I think I can do it by hand now yeah there we go it's in the right location and on this other side it threads it's in and I can see the tip of that bolt coming through I'm gonna tighten it back up. all right 17 millimeters back on it's now been run down and so now we've got to get everything else back. All right, so now we need to take that upper control arm with those two 17 millimeter bolts and remount it back to the frame or back into the body. So 
I'm gonna have to use my jack and we're gonna jack that up and try to position it and get it organized and then I'll show you once I have everything lined up. All right, so we jacked this up, but we also placed a jack underneath the wheel. And we just kind of positioned this until we got it to the point where we could uh, tighten these up, get those in and do it finger tight so we didn't cross thread these. So we're just gonna tighten these up and then we will torque them down later on. But that is the emergency brake line. Is just attached back to the body. All right, we're gonna torque both of these down to 54 foot pounds. All right, so both of these are 54 foot pounds. So now we're gonna torque down this bolt where the strut bolts in. We're gonna torque that one down to 64 foot pounds. Here, if I can get it. Right location. I'm going to run these down with the socket, but not super tight because they're only torqued down to 15 foot pounds. All right, starting to tighten up. There we go. 15 foot pounds on that one. There we go. Good. All right, so now we're just putting our wheel back on and then we're gonna lower the jack and we'll do the other side.